going one line of juicy juicy code okay so list uh, player we're going to create a quick list here player data vec so a list of vectors which are going to store all the enemies information enemies data vec equals new list player data vec data vec I really hope I'm not running out of space on my hard drive. I'm gonna kill myself. Actually, I'll do a quick check. Still got 60 beautiful gigabytes. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish this tutorial one up before I run out. Um, uh, enemies data vec. So we create a list of players and we say for int i equals zero equals zero. I is less than uh, enemy addresses dot count. And this is something we'll take care of in a little bit. And I plus plus. I believe we haven't done the setup enemy vars yet, and you will understand why we're doing the count here when we do that. Um, and all we do here is we say player data vec uh, enemy data vector equals get player data, and then we say enemy addresses i. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Enemy addresses are, yeah, that seems fair enough to me. And then what we say, we say enemy data vec, enemies data vec, where is that? Yeah, enemies data vec dot add enemy data vector. So all we do is we add that enemy onto the list. Okay, and that's all we need for that. And then what we do is we say, after the for loop, we say if player data vec, oh, my bad, my bad. Play data vec. Data vec, which is this one. Dot health is greater than zero. Now we don't want our aim bot to shoot if, unless we have more than uh, zero health. So if we're dead, we don't want to be aiming. We don't want to be doing anything like that. So we wait until we come back, and then we we can do that. Hit target equals zero. If and this is kind of part of our. Um, Clevering, clevering of our aimbot. So, if focusing on enemy and and focus target is not equal to minus one, so uh, what we do in here is help you. Yeah. So, if if we're focusing on a specific enemy, keep aiming at them. Otherwise, try and find a new target based on their distance towards you. So, if enemies data vec. Ah crap! If enemies data vec, what's enemies data vec? Is it a local variable? Enemies data vec. I'm just getting a bit confused here. Yeah, this should be in small. I'm just trying to copy it word by word. I don't want to make mistakes. Um, if enemies data vec, uh, da -da 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 target. That's the one. Um, focus target. Uh, dot health is greater than zero. So what we're saying here is we're saying if our enemy has got more than zero health, uh, then our target becomes the focus target, and that's good. And otherwise, target equals a function that we're about to create. So this is going to be a bit of a, a biggie function, but it's a good one. I tell you that much. Private int find closest enemy index okay that's what we call it and we receive a player data vec array enemies data vec and we receive our position to see which one's closest to us player data vec my position okay yeah that seems good to me oh come on what's the problem oh no paths return yeah that's fine so float distances equals new float enemies data vec I really gotta start making my variables a bit smaller names I always make them such a long name and then I have to write them a billion times <sighs> for int i equals zero i is less than enemies data vec dot length I'm just gonna copy and paste that because I'm tired of writing this uh, i plus plus obviously I'm oh, not in plus plus what the hell what did I do wrong? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Fail. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I know it's not returning anything yet. Oh, screw you. So. Yeah, 
there you go, get rid of the error. Uh, don't copy that, you don't actually have to copy that by the way. So uh, we do that, and um, so what we've got, so, mm -hmm. so what we say, if enemies data vec i dot health. So first thing we're saying is, if the enemy has got um, more than, let's go right now, zero. Oh yeah, this is something I did. A, as, it's a bit of a cheat, and I'm not particularly proud of it, but it, it does do the job, and it's not like bad code practice. I don't think. It's just like I could have found a better way around it. So distance is i equals, and once again we're going to create a function. So I apologize for that. Just don't worry about these being left um, um, undone. Don't really, really don't worry about it because we're gonna. There you go. That's it. We're gonna. Um, we're nearly done with it anyway. So pop private float get 3d distance and what we're going to be using is the well-known 3d distance formula so from there play data vec to play data vec from okay so here what we're going to do is we're going to say return so try and keep up with me on this please because it's uh, a lot for one calculation and then we return open up brackets, close them, math dot square root and if you want to google 3d distance formula you'll see that it's exactly the same as this or at least well yes yeah, it's got to be exactly the same otherwise I'm doing it wrong but uh, math dot square root and then you say 2 dot expose minus I'm going to make sure I don't make mistakes here as well dot expose so close that there um, minus that um, now all this is going to do is going to tell us how far the enemy is from us. So if he's close to us, he's going to become our main target. If he's far away, we ignore him, and so on. So uh, do that x plus. Uh, do that times. So what we're finding out is the number squared. So do that, and then we close it here. Close this. So hopefully that closes there. The brackets are very important. If you don't do them properly, you're not going to get the right answer. So that times itself. Uh, and you can always do math dot to the power of 2, but apparently that's a sole function, so we're not going to do that. Um, we do that times that. Plus, yeah, so I'm just going to check out my thingies here. Times itself, plus, yep, plus, it's confusing myself a little bit here, uh, but that's there, and then that's there, so hopefully that's okay. Um, yeah, there you go. So I'm just organizing my thingy on the side here. Sorry about that. So we do that, and then we do plus um, math dot square root, and then I do that, and then I put it like that here. And I say two dot x plus minus plus, um, and then obviously this is y y plus y plus y plus y plus. So if you have any trouble with this, just uh, feel free to um, just oh, crap. feel free to. Um, pause the video and just look over the code because there's probably a chance I made a mistake you know what I mean? um, <laughs> plus that and then we do two here uh, this is an extra one is that right? Uh, sorry, got to close that there oops, 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 there you go, that should do it is that right? so I made a mistake so that's not a new thing uh, yeah, that was my bad so we open that one Way too many brackets here, but there you go. Is that right? There you go, excellent. So then at the end, we've got two brackets here already. Is that right? Nope, we don't. That closes that one, and that closes that one. What's wrong with that? Oh, my bad. Idiot. Okay, so that should do it. So you've got, uh, try and make sure the things are right. So I'm just going to double check everything to make sure it is. Expose, expose. Uh, Yep, so that gets our 3D distance, which is what we're going to call here. Um, yeah, so. Um, oh, God, I've got so much to do. Uh, so, enemies, data vec, I. Uh, so, just let's just keep going, guys. There isn't much more for us to do. So, look, we're very close to the finish. We've, we've done the most difficult part anyway. Else. So we're saying if um, if the enemy is not alive, we say distances i equals 
that equals float dot max value. What this is saying pretty much is when we go to sort our array, then it ignores this pretty much because it's a high value, uh, so it's never going to be first or second. So just like to let you know that this is why I feel like it's a little bit of cheating because it's not it's not the best practices I don't think to do this kind of stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Distances, 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 and distances um, equals new float. Let me say distances dot length. And I'm sure there's a, a more um, more efficient way of doing this kind of stuff, but this is what I came up with anyway. Oops, that shouldn't have been there. What was I thinking? Um, is this still not accepted? What's wrong with that? Oh, oh shit. New distances, not with the space. Uh, so that's fine. New distances, and let's say array dot copy. We're going to copy the contents of one array to the other so we don't uh, modify the original array. Distances. Um, uh, and then we do new distances. That's our, where our um, copy is going to go to. And then distances dot length. Obviously. Okay, I'm happy with that. What's that? What's wrong with that? Come on. Be annoying. That's fine. Array dot copy. So we copy the rate the contents of the array, and then we create another for loop. So I'm just going to do it here. And this for loop, all it's going to do is going to do a quick check. I equals zero is less than distances dot length. Uh, I plus plus. Yeah. So then what we're saying is if distances i equals equals new distances zero. So you remember we sorted the array, or oh, actually we did sort the array, I just missed that. Array dot sort. This is kind of the beauty of C sharp is that this is done for you, because all you need to do is just do that. And if you'd call sort, um, it's going to sort them um, in, I believe it's ascending order. So our smallest value is going to be first. And then, so obviously that's what we want. So we're saying if distances, we're going through the distances and we're saying if that is equal to the smallest value then we return that, okay? So that way we return the uh, smallest uh, distance which means it's our closest player and that's the one we're going to shoot at. Return i. So if it equals n, return i, okay? Otherwise return minus one because that way it'll screw up the array. And then if this happens for some reason that means we made a mistake somewhere because I've never had that error. Um, and that's what we're calling here. And so when we call that, um, we're sending in enemies uh, data vec dot to array. So it's just because there's no need for us to send an array list afterwards again. The data vec. So we might as well data vec. That's the one. Beautiful. So that's what we do. We call that. Um, and then we're saying if focusing else, if we're not focusing, we're saying this again. So if we want focusing on an enemy, just go straight away, excuse me, find us a random enemy. That's what we're going for. And then we're saying if target is not equal to minus one. What we're saying here is um, if something went if something goes wrong here any time before here, then this is kind of a safety. So focus target. Let's say you started aiming at someone new, that becomes our new target until you let go of the mouse button or they're dead. And then you say if enemies, and this is the final check that is necessary for in case all enemies are dead. Because if all enemies are dead and this wasn't here, it will aim at the um, last enemy that you shot at, and well, at least at their position. Um, if they're dead, then um, uh, it won't aim at anyone. It will just let you have a free mouse. And uh, grade zero. And this is another function. The last function. We're gonna, well, it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not the last function, but. Uh, it's called aim at target, so we're going to call it, and this is where some of our um, uh, maths is involved. Is again? No, I did for fuck's sake. Private void aim at target, and that includes player data vec, enemy data vector, vector, and player data vec, player data vector. That sounds about right to me. Yep, 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 yep. So this is a fairly straightforward one, but it does involve some complex maths, which I'm not going to go into detail about because I'm not a very good maths teacher. I'll tell you that much. It took me a while to kind of get my head around this. And in the end, I had to get someone else's formula, so that's how bad I am. So pitch x equals float. Um, float math 
and this is the uh, function that a lot of games use so if you don't understand this all you need to do is go have a good look at Pythagoras maybe view a couple of maths tutorials and you might 